Hi guys, so um, I'm just, this is my morning skin routine, so I'm going to tell you what I usually do in the morning. Usually when I do in, go in the morning, I usually wake up and go straight for a shower, and that's when I wash my face. So um, pretty much what I do is I shampoo my hair, and then I condition it, and then I wash my body, and then after I wash my body, I wash my face. So what I do first is usually I use the Biore Revitalize 2-in-1 self foaming cleanser and it's supposed to cleanse, tone, stimulate, and detoxify your skin and it's oil free and it's part of their daily recharging line and I love this thing it was one of the, f no it wasn't the first Biore product that I used but I think it was like the second and I love it um, it wakes me up in the morning, it has like this cooling effect and it wakes you up, really, and it helps get rid of the bags if you like rub it around your under eye bags. It helps get it rid of it and kind of opens up the eyes, so I really love using this, and I've already used a lot of it. This is my third bottle, second bottle already, so I've used this for around like two years. Well, not this bottle, but I mean like, you know what I mean the soap around two years and it's really good I really love it so usually after that I usually rinse that off with warm water because I don't want to use cold water and then warm water again um so then after that I usually use my Bure pore unclogging scrub and I've had this bottle forever this is like my first bottle this is like the first Bure product I ever used and this is still my first bottle I only have like a little bit left, but I mean like it's lasted for a very long time. And the reason why I like to use this is because I, I like to do certain things when it comes to cleansing. I like to tone the really three things that I stress on when I comes to my skincare is toning, cleansing, and like rejuvenating my skin. At least once a day I need to like exfoliate because I feel like if I don't my skin becomes really disgusting or I feel like it won't clean enough so then I'll have more acne and that might not be true most of the time but that's how I feel usually so I also like this because it has so that's why I like this it's an exfoliator it's a daily exfoliator it's a gentle daily exfoliator which I like another reason why I like this product is Besides the fact that it really is gentle and kind of foams up like Asian exfoliants do, this kind of, um, this has salicylic acid in it and it's oil free, but the main thing is it has salicylic acid in it. I'm not a big fan of salicylic acid when it comes to spot treatments, but when it comes to like taking care of oiliness, this can help a lot. So, um, if you have a trouble with oiliness or trouble with blackheads or whiteheads, salicylic acid cleansers can help a lot to kind of dry out the oiliness so yeah I really like this after that sometimes sometimes not after that but sometimes instead of using those two products as my cleansers I will use my clean and clear in shower face shield products and either I use this one I have a lot of the old ones because when they were on sale because they were saying they're going to discontinue this product I bought a lot of them. I bought like six, and I, this is only the first bottle, and I've only used like a little of this. So this will pretty much last me a very long time. And then, so this is the Clean and Clear s Steam Soft in Shower Facial, and then this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst in Shower Facial. And I do think this is a little bit better, just for the fact it has clay in it. And the reason... It, I think it's better because of the clay. It's because clay can take out a lot of detoxify. It can detoxify your skin a lot better than anything, which is why clay masks are very, very good for your skin. Um, I think they're about the same thing either way. They do smell like fruity, not not fruity, but citrusy. And I mean, like, there's not pretty much a difference. But I think like the biggest difference and the only difference they have is the fact that um, this has clay in this doesn't so yeah but I use this sometimes and that's it really I only use this like really once in a while like a few about like maybe two times a month maybe a, few, a little bit more I don't use it a lot it's kind of saddening now that I bought a lot of it I don't really use it 
Um, but after that, okay, so back to my normal skin routine where I use these two. After these two, I usually rinse my hair and I rinse my face and I rinse my body and I go out and I dry my body and my face and I tune. Oh, sometimes I also use, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm jumping back and forth, but sometimes I also use my St. Ives Fresh Skin After Scott Scrub for invigorating. And I use it around my nose and in my chin area because that's where I get like a lot of whiteheads and blackheads. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is great for helping to, you know, smooth it away and kind of clean it out. But anyway, after I rinse and I dry off, I get a powder puff. Well, not a powder puff, uh, whatever it is. Um, a cotton ball. Sorry, a cotton ball. And I take, and I put, use this, this is a Filipino brand, it's called Escanol Naturals Calamansi Skin Cleanser. And it's pretty much just an estrogen. And I put some on the cotton ball and I tap it only on my spots. Only on my spots. Sometimes if I'm going to clean my nose using like a whitehead black eye remover to clean it, I use this. And then... Usually, after I clean it out with the whitehead black and remover, I rinse my face cold with wa uh, cold water. And then I use this on a cotton ball and I clean. I use it on the specific places. You use it in my nose, usually my nose and my chin. And I can it really stings a lot, but it, I think it helps a lot to clean it out. So this is a good product, I think. I don't like to use it all over my face because I found out it really dried out my face. And it kind of stings sometimes, so I decided not to use it all over my face, but only on my acne. So this is a good product. If you have a Filipino store near you, try to buy this, please. And then, oh my god, I'm running out of time. Um, I use this, the Vino Skin Clarifying Toner, all over my face. And it's a good toner. I think you should get a toner that doesn't have alcohol on it. Pretty good. Then after that, usually I use... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, the Olay Regenerating Serum. And I use that all over my face. Then I use aloe vera gel all over my face. And then I usually, like, dry my hair. Or oh, try to dry my hair. Like, I towel dry my hair and put my leave-in conditioner and my hair serum. And then I moisturize my body. And then I moisturize my face with the Nivea Soft refreshing soft moisturizing lotion and then after that I usually put a little vera gel on my eyebrows to keep them in place on my nose and my um, chin right here and then on my acne so it's really good to help that and then I use my Garnier Ultra Lift Anti Wrinkle Firming Eye Cream it's the Garnier Nutrinis and it's really good I really like it really cheap um, it's like the cheapest I can, can find in like the drugstores. And then I use this. This is the Clearasol Ultra uh, Rapid Action Treatment Cream. And I got this, uh, I heard about this from Purse Buzz, so you can check out her video on it. Um, it's, um, it's good. I use it on my nose, my chin, and then on my spots. And then I usually like to put sunscreen, at least SPF 30 protects UVA UVB. So depending on the day, if it's a not really, if it's like a cloudy day and and it's kind of colder and drier, I use this, the Biore um, Dual Fusion Biore Skin Preservation Dual Fusion Moisturizer and and SPF 30, like this. And if it's more of a sunnier day, but not too sunny, then I use the Vino um, Positively Ageless Daily Moisturizer SPF 30. And if it's really sunny, you should use like the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunscreen in like SPF 70 or is it like SPF 80 or 89. And then that's pretty much what I do for my skincare So um, in the morning. So thanks for watching and watch out for my next videos. Bye. Oh, please rate, subscribe, and comment and make any requests if you want to. Make them in private messages. Remember that, please. Bye, guys.